Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Zoe and I I don't really know what I do. I do a lot of different things. This one today is going to be about my hair. This video has been pretty highly requested on my previous video, the thick to thin to thin to thick hair transformation. I don't know why I can't say that. That video was me using the product that I'm most comfortable using, which is the Bumble and Bumble Brownish Hair Powder. This was the star of my last video. I haven't tried anything else, but I had other people mention some options that might be a little bit more cost effective than this one. So I decided to do a comparison. So I'm going to start off with the Bumble and Bumble Brownish Powder. This is my staple. This is what I know how to use. and. I will then progress to other ones throughout the weeks. But one of the other really highly recommended options I've been hearing was the Batiste. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I just avoid saying it usually. The Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo Plus with a hint of color, Divine Dark. So it looks like this. You've probably seen it. And the good thing about this one is that it does come in a travel size. It was like this big. The only beef that I had with that is that I saw it in Ulta and in Ulta this is $9 or like $10, it was $9.99 and the travel one was like $5.99 which it was like this big I thought so I don't know. Comparatively that doesn't seem awesome. What? And I got this one from Target for... $6.99, so $7, and I looked online and some TJ Maxx's I think have this one as well for cheaper, so if you see this at Ulta, just keep in mind that you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. Another option that people were suggesting, which is something that I actually suggested to myself in the last video because I'd seen it, um, which is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Root Cover-Up. I do also have the Topic hair fiber powder things still from my wedding, or I think I do, I still have to check. I will be testing that as well if I have it, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Three, possibly four products I'm going to be trying in the next few weeks, and hopefully we can see what, what works the best. Okay, so enough of me talking, I am going to apply my Bumble and Bumble powder the same way as I always do, the same as I did in the other video, so I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, so I just got back from spraying my hair with the Bumble and Bumble. Um, just a side note that I thought I would mention is that I didn't do what I did in the previous video, which was spray directly on my pot. I don't want to do that with any of these products because I just thought that that wouldn't be fair. That's not the usual way that I use these things. So I just did underneath these, so the sides. So you can still see a pretty natural pot. So I'm going to go run some errands. I need to go to Target. Well, I don't need to go to Target. I want to go to Target. I basically live at Target. I live five minutes away from one. It's a super Target. They probably know me by name by now. So I'm going to go do that and pick up some groceries and I will check in throughout the day and we'll see how it's holding up. But right now, I do want to point out that it does make my hair feel like, I don't know, better? Can I just say better? It makes my hair feel better. So I will check back in with you guys later and we will see how it's going. So sorry I'm looking a little rough, but it is almost 10 p.m. now. I didn't end up going to do any errands. I was just hanging out at the house editing videos all day. So I didn't do too much, but uh, my hair is still intact. It still looks really good, really dry. Uh, none has come off, so this is pretty normal for me, but I'm going to sleep on it and I will update you guys in the morning. I had a lot of questions about the Bumble and Bumble spray and if it was, if it rubbed off or anything, so I just woke up and this is my pillow and I don't get anything on it. I'm not going to lie, I have in the past like the tiniest bit, but it does wash out. That's one note for the Bumble and Bumble spray, it does not transfer. Okay, so it's now 3.30 p.m. on, uh, what day is it? Thursday? It's, uh, 3.30 p.m. on Thursday, so, uh, 
later that day after I woke up. I just cleaned the house and I wanted to check in um, on the hair. This is what it's looking like. It's basically the same as it was yesterday, completely fine. Um, it's not, it doesn't come off, it doesn't move. My hair is still very dry um, in, in the good way. My hair gets oily fairly quickly, but because I use this spray, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go do some errands, um, go to Ikea, go to Home Goods. I'm getting some stuff for the house. So tonight I will give you like the final update. Okay, so this is my final check-in for the Bumble and Bumble uh, dry spray shampoo, not shampoo, dry shampoo? Anyway, um, this is my final check-in for that one. It's been two whole days since I've been wearing it. I've slept in it and it looks pretty damn good to me. Actually, I feel like over time it looks a little bit more natural. I don't know, what do you guys think? And like the top of my hair is really dry. It's just the only reason I'm washing it tomorrow is A, I'm making this video, so I wanna try the next one. And B, because the ends of my hair um, are a little oily because it's been a little hot these past few days. It's been humid and in like the 90s outside here in Florida, so. It does withstand in the heat and all of that good stuff and my skin isn't irritated or anything like that so it's business as usual i think i'm gonna try the l'oreal one tomorrow because i'm really curious about that one so stay tuned for that okay so what's up you guys it's officially day three of my little experiment i just washed my hair so the bumble bumble spray is completely gone and today i'm going to be trying the Magic Root Cover-Up by L'Oreal. This has been one of the most suggested ones for me to try. It's that one that I said I saw all the time, I just haven't used. I'm pretty excited to try this one because it was only $9.99. I do want to point out though that I'm only going to be trying this just to see how I can apply it and stuff, but I have heard a lot of people say that this little can only lasts about two weeks. I have no idea if that's because you need to apply it every day, or I would assume you have to apply it every day for it to only last two weeks. So I'm just going to try it and see how I like it, how it applies, if it transfers onto my bed, and it's actually raining today, which is ideal, so I'm gonna try and luck out and see if I can get rained on <laughs> and see if it drips or anything, so hopefully, everything goes okay because I do have a few things that I need to do today and I'd rather not look crazy. I've got a mirror over here so that's why I'm looking over here. I'm going to apply it and we'll see what happens. Okay, after opening it I do notice that it has the different applicator. It's like long and pointy, kind of like bug spray, so that, that kind of scares me because I don't know if it's going to come out really like in that specific place. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, okay, so um, I don't know if I have to hold it further away to get it not to do that. Oh my goodness. I pressed it down a little lighter that time um, and from further away. Holy moly, this thing comes out like a jet engine. That's why it probably lasts only two weeks. I feel like a lot is coming out. Can you see that? Okay, so already, the difference from the Bumble and Bumble one, I feel like, is that it's like power forced. Like, it's like, like, there's just a lot of force behind it. It's not as dreamy and misty as the other one is. I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. It's just something that I probably have to get used to. I'm gonna do the other side and hope the best. Okay, so that's both undersides of my pot done. What do you guys think? I'll go in different lighting today so that hopefully you can see better. This one, I feel like, doesn't have a matte finish. It's definitely not trying to be a dry shampoo where I feel like the Bumble and Bumble one is. This one is a concealer spray, it says, so it is just color. I will say that my hair up here, it feels, it doesn't feel dry. Like, it doesn't feel like dry shampoo like the other one does. It feels like something is in my hair, which is not bothering me now, but I feel like throughout the day it might make my hair oilier quicker. I don't know if, that, if that's going to happen. I guess we'll have to find out. And touching my hair just like this, which again, I did not spray the top of my hair here. It is coming off. Not coming off like there's a problem here. It's definitely coming off. 
So I'm just gonna leave it at this and uh, wash my hands and just go through my day. I'll give you guys updates. Fingers crossed I'll get rained on at some point and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so it is now five o'clock. I've been running around all day and the sun is out now so I didn't actually get rained on. So far the report for the L'Oreal Root touch-up is that it looks pretty good. It looks basically the same, maybe just a little bit different color than the Bumble and Bumble one. The only issue that I have is that it doesn't feel dry. It feels like product that has dried but like not fully like I'm pretty lightly touching it and I mean that's not too bad but another thing that I noticed is when you go to wash this stuff off with soap and everything it actually takes a little bit so it's it's kind of more heavy duty so maybe it'll actually hold up pretty good underwater I don't know yet as far as like comfortability throughout the day with like touching hair because I had to today because it was really windy outside and I was like trying to fix my hair um, so that's why I was touching it and I figured that out otherwise looks wise it looks pretty good okay so I just woke up and I'm gonna make this quick I'm actually running late for work right now but I just slept on it it actually feels better than it did yesterday like dry off it's not getting on my fingers anymore so it almost feels like it takes a, just you know a little bit more time to feel a little bit more natural but I actually really like the way it feels and also I slept on this towel on my pillow because I didn't want it to stain my pillow and I don't see anything. No staining, maybe like a tiny bit there, but it actually held up really well overnight so I'm super impressed. I just got back from work which I left for at 5 o'clock this morning which was my last check-in. That's why I'm not wearing makeup today because I am not doing my makeup at 5 in the morning. I don't care how much you're going to pay me. I just wanted to give a little update on the spray. Um, I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I actually ended up really liking this one. I didn't like how this one felt yesterday. It felt kind of tacky and it was coming off of my hands a lot. It's almost like it needed a bit of time to like completely dry down. But I can do this. It's barely coming up on my finger and I mean at what point in the day am I just like doing this so I think that I like this one you guys I will see you guys tomorrow for the Batiste uh, dry shampoo in Divine Dock hello again so it is uh, I don't want to say day three but it's round three of this whole hair thing today I'm trying the what is it the Batiste dry shampoo plus with a hint of Divine Dock I just washed my hair I washed the L'Oreal stuff out of it so I'm back to being Le bold. I'm scared it's gonna come out really harsh like the last one. Okay, this one has a smell. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it's a pretty strong smell. It's definitely a hint of color because it's still, it's looking white to me. I mean, in the mirror it's a little better, but on camera it's coming up white. Let's try it again. Oh my god. <laughs> that was just my head. Okay, so right now my hair is looking like old lady white in the middle, and I'm not sure why. Because I've had a lot of comments saying that people use this all the time, maybe you have lighter hair than I do, but this is not cute. It says to massage thoroughly with fingertips to ensure roots are fully covered and color blends. Massage thoroughly with fingertips, really? Okay, I'm sorry that cut me off, my phone ran out of storage and whatever, but I did massage my hair just like this. And all I could say for it is that my hair feels ridiculously soft, my fingers look ridiculously ashy, and I feel like, I don't know, it looks better, but in real life, like if I was in the sun or something, I definitely need like the spray shine or something because it looks, I look ashy. I feel ashy. Just for this one, I want to give it a fair go. So I'm going to put my shine hairspray on it, just like I would with the Bumble and Bumble one, and see if it's going to take away any of the white. <laughs> I just went into my room and I asked my husband and even he said that it looks a tiny bit ashy so I'm kind of used to it now it's less shocking but there is like a direct line like here and here for some reason even though I didn't even spray that it's very hot today it's very humid today and I think I might be going to a theme park 
Hopefully no one takes my picture because I look like I'm getting gray hair. So I will check back in with you guys later and we will see how this is holding up. Okay, so it's like 12 p.m. now. I've been wearing this spray since like 1 p.m. I think. And I'm really starting to like it. The white stuff isn't on the top anymore and I feel like it looks more natural. I really like this one. And my hair feels really good on the top, like as a dry shampoo, it's working really well. I think it works better than the other two. The other two aren't actually dry shampoos, but I really like the way this one feels. I like the way it looks. So this one's pretty much a slam dunk for me. It's just if I sleep and it gets on my pillow, that's gonna be kind of annoying, but I have a feeling it's not going to just because I sealed it with the hairspray. I hope that it makes it through the night and I will check in with you guys again in the morning. Okay, so I just woke- well, I didn't just wake up. I woke up, um, like an hour ago. I've just been in bed on my computer. I am seeing, like, a tiny bit of discoloration. That could be because I've been sitting here, kind of, like, with the pillows propped up. Um, so it actually was touching the top of my head a little bit more, so I don't know if you can see it. It's just kind of like that area there. I tend to have white sheets. I wash my pillowcases pretty regularly. It's not that big of an issue for me unless it's stained, which I don't think it will just based on the formula. It is pretty dry. In person, it really doesn't look that bad. I actually can't tell with my eyesight, but I have pretty bad eyesight. So um, on film, it just looks like that. Okay, so I guess it's time to say a proper good morning, uh, even though it's 2 p.m., but I just finished getting ready. So today is the day after spraying the Batiste dry shampoo, and this is what it looks like after sleeping on it. I'm not sure how it looks on film, but in real life, the white dustiness from yesterday has completely gone away. I actually think that it being the lighter color makes it look a little bit more natural than the other two options. The only thing is that, I don't know, it does still look kind of spotty. It's like, because it is a dry shampoo, it is focusing more on that aspect rather than the pigment. So the pigment is definitely there, but for a dramatic look, if you're more thin, kind of like I am, and this is something you're not okay with, then I wouldn't pick this one. I really do like this one. It is just different than the other two pigment-wise. So I'm going to go out now, I have a few errands to run, but so far so good. Okay, so it's been a couple of days now. I had to work, so I decided to take a break. And this one I didn't know if I was going to do because I honestly didn't remember if I owned it still. So I have the Topic products, and that's another one that people keep suggesting to me. The first time around with this, I didn't have a lot of luck, I didn't like it. I tried making it work for the longest time and it would just come out chunky. So this is a little different than the other three options that I had. It is not a spray. This says hair building fibers. So this is tiny little fibers that you shake into your hair. And then this, I forgot that I had this. This is some kind of fixing spray to make them stay in place, I guess. I don't remember if this works either. So it's still kind of new to use this again because it's been, it's been a pretty long time. I guess we'll see how it goes. Use only on dry hair, shake liberally into thinning areas, gently pat hair to disperse fibers. Style as usual. Okay, so I don't remember that patting function, so maybe that's where I went wrong. Oh, I can already see it coming out. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? So I didn't even shake it that many times and it's already very effective. I think I'm going to spray the undersides with this stuff. Okay, so even though my pot looks ridiculously wonky right now, it's actually not. I must have, like, shaken it too hard in, like, this area, I guess? Or I'm not really sure what's going on there. It, like, leaked over into my pot, so maybe when I do the other side, it's all just gonna do that? I have no idea, but let's just keep going. I'm gonna do the other side and see what happens. I will say, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but this does feel a little messier. So I can see it like flying through the air and I just got a new white rug, so it's making me a little nervous. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, I hate this. I hate this a lot. My hair feels crunchy from that spray. Like I just, I feel like I can't run my fingers through my hair if I would need to. I mean, it's looking not so bad on camera, but this was so hard to aim 
because it is just coming out of this little shaker thingy. I mean, that's not so much aim, but rather how much was coming out of it at one time, so it is very patchy. I am open to giving it the benefit of the doubt throughout the time that I'm wearing it, but if it looks bad now, I don't see it magically getting better. Maybe if I pat it more? Do I look crazy? Oh, am I making it worse? I did. <laughs> I just made it worse. Gently pat hair. You guys, I don't know if you can see this. It has like made balls. Like they've turned into little chunky balls. This is exactly what I remember it doing last time. I'm very sorry, you guys, but I don't see this getting better over time. So I'm really rethinking having to even wear it till tomorrow. I'm really sorry to say this. I don't mean any offense to the topic people, the brand, whatever, I, I'm sorry, but if I'm doing it wrong, tell me because I own this and I would like to use it, but if I, I really can't figure out a way for it to not do this. Can you imagine if I had a rocked up to my wedding looking like this? It looks like I have some like bugs in my hair or something. It's just, just I don't know what I'm gonna do. So that was a bust for my guest star, but what are you gonna do? It is the next day now and I didn't make it five minutes past that video ending with that topic stuff in my hair. I just washed it out because I was, I, I had things to do and I didn't want to look like that. So I'm very sorry if you wanted to see if that would magically not be chunky, but it, I just wasn't doing it. So I'm sorry. So I just wanted to quickly wrap up this video and give you my final thoughts on all four products. Um, the topic one, completely out of the question, not dealing with it anymore, so that's a solid no. As for the other three, I actually uh, really loved a lot of things and there were a few things that I wasn't a big fan of. Um, the Batiste Dry Shampoo is a great shampoo, especially for people with darker hair. As far as it being pigmented enough to deal with people that have very thin hair, I would say that it might be a good option for like every day when you you don't want to look absolutely like stellar like I would use it day to day but because of the ashy whiteness that can occur or um, how much product you would have to use to make it dark enough I would steer clear of it for special events um, you might need something a little bit more heavy duty for that one and for that reason I would say you could try the L'Oreal one the only thing with that is that I wasn't a huge fan of how it dried down on the first day. It was still tacky a little bit for the whole day. Um, it took sleeping on it for it to become completely dry. So the second day I was a fan of it. I actually really did like it. It has really good coverage. It has the best coverage out of all of these options. And for $10 price wise, it's a good option for special events if you want to wear it for special events. For every day, I wouldn't suggest it against the Bumble and Bumble one simply because, and I'm just saying because people have told me I did not try it for this long, but judging on the force that it comes out and the size of the can, you would have to buy a new one every two weeks. So $10 every two weeks is $20, $20 for three months, that's $60. So the Bumble and Bumble one lasts three months and you get it for $36, so $36, $60, that's quite a price difference, at least for me. So I would just rather pay the money for the Bumble and Bumble one. I find that the Bumble and Bumble just works for me better and it has more pros than cons. Actually, I don't really have any issue with the Bumble and Bumble one, except for maybe the fact that I wish that they had different variations of brown. That is not a concern to me. I think it looks great in my hair. Um, but now that I've used the L'Oreal one in dark brown and I know that the L'Oreal has blonde and uh, red, as well plus a lot of different variations of brown which is really great i thought that it matched my hair really well i just i wasn't a fan of the sticky sort of consistency at the end so make of this video what you will i hope it was educational i hope that you have a little more information on these products if you were thinking of buying one of them i still suggest the bumble and bumble that's what i'm going to use but that's because i'm a creature of habit and i just really like it i don't have a problem with it this is the first video i've ever done where i've had to like do it over two weeks and check in and all that kind of stuff and i really liked it it was a lot of fun it feels like i'm taking you guys with me so if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up because i have a ton of other ones that i thought might be fun to kind of do this way and if you like this video please subscribe i have plenty more videos coming and we have a really great community 
community here. Everyone is super nice, super positive, and I love chatting with you guys. I really, I really just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your support always. You guys are the sweetest people ever, and I'm so grateful. So I'm really aiming to get a video out every week. I'm not sure how successful I will be at that in the, the start, but that is my aim. So please stick around, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome week.